listening at Fannies of the Week. My name is Ellen. This week I'm back from my two-ish week hiatus. I went to Japan. It's kind of a long story. It was awesome. I have heard you're clamoring for me to get back in the saddle, so I've forced myself to recover from jet lag, and here we are. This is a 60s Kent Trem Tone amplifier, and it has this non-grounded plug. The risk for my electrocution is quite a bit higher than normal. I would say we are at like a like an orange level alert for electrocution. Kim was a brand of guitars that was a American brand that they basically put on Tyscos, which came from Japan. It does say that it was made in USA, which is a little bit curious because I thought that Kent stuff was Japanese. I don't really know. Always a good sign when the on switch is also the tone switch. It's like in a movie when that thing comes up and it goes You roll back on the tone and you get this kind of underwater sort of And then all the way up on the tone range there, not a big range. What would you say the range of this amplifier is? I could probably throw it like 25 feet. You have to pick really lightly in order to get a clean sound. But where this amp really shines is where it was never supposed to, in distorted sounds. See about this bigger. This amp should be doing. This was never made to play Mr. Sandman. This was made to play rock and roll music. Let's see what happens with the volume control all the way up. Yep, fire in the hole. Really not even that much louder, it's just pretty saturated. Oh, I got some hair on this P90. Shut up! Okay, if I face exactly right here, most of the horrible howling sound goes away. I can't face that way the whole time. It's a TV show, so horrible howling noise. I guess we can get some almost clean sounds if you've got the volume around, what is that? Nine o'clock? I think it's nine o'clock in Japan right now. It's actually nine o'clock right here, Ellen. You're an idiot. Tremolo controls. Speed all the way down is still pretty fast. Let's see how fast it gets. Not a great variety of tremolo sounds that you can get from it, but the ones that you can get are pretty cool. I would not call this amp terribly practical. That's what you have a Princeton for. We used to have a Princeton here. I bought it. Snooze you lose. That's what you need to be doing with this thing. skinnier than me. If I spent money on clothes as recklessly as I've been spending money on gear, I would 100% get this. Feels like I'm being swaddled in a tarp. But it just looks so cool. This jacket is impossibly cool. Right, can you see my butt? Should I not do it from that angle? Thank you for watching Alan's favorite thing at Fannies of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing.